everybody, it's Lynn Forsyth, and welcome to my video on um, my creation for the Relics and Artifact and Canvas Court brand matchup. So I was sent this mix and match book, which I am absolutely and totally in love with it. Um, it comes on a ring, and it has this rubber band type elastic thing that holds the book together um, and you take that off and there are all of these beautiful amazing old receipts um, dried flowers all the things actually that I absolutely and totally adore so um, I want to share with you how I am going to augment, change, alter um, this cover. So I have this piece of architectures um, and it's from the Iron Fence, um, I believe is what it's called. Okay, so I stand corrected, it's just called Fence. And when you receive it, this is, it's a long, it's from their tall base. Um, segment of the architectures and it comes in this big piece and I've cut mine up and I use this on another project as a stencil so it's lost its stickiness so I've decided that I'm just going to use it as a stencil on the cover of this mix and match book so I have a tub of um, the Crafters Workshop Modeling Paste Black, which I have never used this stuff, so I am super excited to try this. It's like tar, um, and see what we get. So because this is malleable and not hard, I'm going to do this gently so that I don't get all kinds of movement from my fence. And I think I'm just going to randomly apply this on my cover. We're going to pick it up. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> For people who know me, you will know that I make really weird noises. So I'm going to kind of line this up here. And apply some more of the modeling paste. Stuff reminds me of black tar. Oh, how cool is that? No, I think I'm going to leave it just that way. So, how cool is that? Now I got to set that aside to dry, and we'll move on to the next step. So while my cover's drying, um, let's move on to something else. So it, also in my design team kit was this Helios One, I believe, if I've pronounced that right, from Relics and Artifacts. So it's this really cool um, wooden star sunburst. Um, also in my kit was this parchment rub-on from um, Seven Gypsies in the Architectures line. And it's called Grow, and it comes in this really cool wrapper where you've got all these words um, that you can use from the packaging. So we're going to open this up. And as you can see, it's, oh, it's so yummy. Just a whole bunch of vintage wonder. And all I did was I took this and just laid it over top of my wooden sunburst. And then I took a um, Sharpie and I just went over top of the parchment paper with the rounded edge of the Sharpie and rubbed the black images onto my sunburst. And I just continue to do this all the way around. Now I know that the images aren't going to be whole. All I'm getting is these pieces parts. But to me, that's really cool. So I'm going to continue doing this. Um, and I will show you the finished results in the end. Okay. 
Okay, I think that's really cool that I have the moon on here. Okay, so I have finished with my rub on and I absolutely love it. Oh my gosh, I am so in love. I love how the grains of the wood show through on the rub-ons and even make it have even a cooler look to it. So also in my kit, I received three um, products from Tattered Angels. And one of them is Glimmer Glam Twinkle Toes. The other is Saffron, which this is a Glimmer Glaze. And then I got Chalkboard um, Clover. So we're going to see how I can make these work with my album here. And let the creative process begin. I think what I'm going to do is take the saffron and all the glimmers down at the bottom. So you really want to get your paintbrush way down in there and get that all mixed up with the glaze so that you get this really super yummy color to work with. Wipe off my paintbrush a little bit. And I'm just going to paint this over top. The sunburst and the rub on. All right, so I have a base layer put on, but I want to try something. I think, if I remember correctly, if I put on big puddles of this Glimmer Glaze and use the heat tool with it, it's going to bubble and give a really cool effect. So let's try that and see if it actually works. So I'm just going to randomly go to my sunburst and put puddles of the glaze on here in a random fashion. Let's see what we got. Oh no, I don't want to cover that up. Spring is here. Yes! Actually, fi finally summer is. All right, let's see what we get with this. Okay, so I'm not sure you can see it here, but how it bubbled. Um, I think I'm going to have to repeat this process again in some of my other places because I actually absolutely and totally love what I'm getting out of this. So I'm going to play a little more. Oh. I'm going to use some of the Crafters Workshop Gel Medium Matte. Hmm. All right, so I have some Prills Guilt Trip, and I'm just going to sprinkle them onto my Helios one. So we need that to dry. All right, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to let that dry. All right, 
I have absolutely no idea what I'm doing. I have these colors and I keep trying things. I had put on a layer of the Glimmer Glam, <clears throat> excuse me, Twinkle Toes over top of my Prills. Not loving it, so we're going to try something here. And I have no idea what I'm doing. But I'm trying to, th I'm, I'm looking for kind of a patina look. So I've just sprayed some of the chalkboard onto the sun, the Helio one, over top of the prills that have been painted with Glimmer Glam Twinkle Toes and Saffron Glimmer Glaze. And I'm thinking I really like what's going on here. So, oh, that's really kind of cool. Uh, I'm really having fun with this. I, you have to understand, I have never played with the Relics and Artifacts um, line before. So, this is all kind of new to me, which is something that I absolutely and totally love, is doing things that are new, trying new things. So, there we have that. All right. Now, I'm very, very sorry, but when I first got my design team kit, I got really excited and I already colored my figurine. So basically what I did was I took um, the figurine head, I sprayed it with some of the Tattered Angels chalkboard. Um, didn't like that green a whole lot looking for this kind of patina effect sprayed some of it off and there's layers of the twinkle toes on here um, on for the hair I colored it with the glimmer glaze saffron and then I pulled out a little bit of bonbon and darkened some of the edges and sprayed it with the precious metals by Tattered Angels. So I've got this head. So I'm not sure where we're going here, but I think I'm really liking it. Okay, my cover is dry and I am loving it. So what I want to do now is I'm going to take some of, maybe, the Crafters Workshop Clear Gesso and I am going to cover my entire cover of my mix and match book with the clear gesso because the technique that I want to do next requires that the paper not be porous but that it be sealed so that color will move over top of it so um and it may do that anyways but being paper I just don't want to take the chance because there is some type of finish on this paper um but I'm just going to go over my entire mix and match book that I stenciled using the seven gypsies um fence from their architectures line. And just because I want to, instead of having the brush strokes be my background, I'm just using um, a piece of sponge, artist sponge. Perfect. Okay, now we'll let that dry. Okay. So the gesso's dry, pretty much, and so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a pipette and stick it down into my Glimmer Glaze Saffron, and then I want to take it and I'm just going to drop some color onto my cover, give it a little spritz with water, kind of let it move around. Don't freak out because the water that I sprayed on there rehydrated the gesso because it wasn't 100% dry. My fault. But that's okay. It'll dry itself again. Alright, 
So where are we here? Um, I took a piece of the canvas court flute that came in um, my design team kit and I cut a circle, kinda, that would fit behind my Helios star. And I used the same technique that I used on painting the star. I put on some a layer of the um, Twinkle Toes Glimmer Gla Glam and then I sprayed it with the clover um, chalkboard and then I put dabs of the Glimmer Glaze Saffron on it, dried it, bubbled it, the whole nine yards. So this is what we got going so far. And I took a piece of um, burlap, which was also in my kit, and cut it kind of to fit my figurine head here. Sprayed it with a little bit of the um, precious metals from Tattered Angels. So this is what we've got so far. Am I happy? I don't know. I think I will have to ponder on it.